what is good guys we are back with more world cup action and we got abr versus k12 of the machine he turns out turn one which is probably a salt vest tornado brings in his merrick it's gonna be rocks merrick or rocks clefable last move on clefable could be um like i'm thinking it's like stealth rocks softball moonblast and then last move could be coma could be t-wave could be flamethrower but he's not really weak to scissor, he has like d3 scissor check, so I don't think it's flamethrower. He has substitute AB, I pulled out the substitute magnezone, this is probably Z move. I'm pretty sure this is Z move. So he doubled out into the scissor, expecting a Tyranitar to come out. And he's hope if he's fast scissor, he can um, get away, but he's slow scissor, so he's gonna take a lot before he can U-turn out. The sub doesn't break, and I think this is Gigavolt Havoc. And maybe I can put in some work with this. Chat is going wild. Uh, scores is 3 and 3 at the moment between US East. Maybe I'm playing for US East. Uh, K12 of the matching playing for Team Spain. If he's not. If he's not. Lightning Rod Merrick, Gigavolt Havoc is gonna blow something away. Like Bullet dies to Flash Can, so that cannot come in. He kinda has to sack something if it's not Lightning Rod Merrick. I think it's gonna be um, Rocket Murrag because ABR likes to use uh, stalls sometimes at least. So you always have to consider that when you build for ABR. But that was a really nice play by ABR because, um, like, even if the Murrag went for rocks, that substitute would have worked out for him, and if the Murrag went for an attack, he only would have lost 25% because he went for sub and if the opponent doubled as he did he's in a great position so that was a cool play hmm. maybe I could be mega T down actually because at first I was thinking potential pursuit tar that's why I was feeling the tar with the Marek but he just didn't want to attack into the Tita in general hmm, but he has a Kelly on the back not sure if he was fearing a pursuit there then. Or if he just didn't want to give the tar switch in for free, but that didn't work out for him at all. Yeah, I don't really know what I would do if I was him. Avi Tornadus could you live a T-Bolt, but his Z-move is gonna blow it away. So if he goes to Torn and tries to break the sub with a heat wave, he's gonna get bopped by the Z-move. Marek is gonna get bopped by this Gigavolt Havoc. Like, oh lord, this Magnuson is so scary for him, this game's looking so in ABR's favor already. Yeah, Gigavolt Havoc is gonna bop this, watch. I think ABR is gonna click this move here. ZT Bolt, yeah. Could also be Z Thunder for the power if that gets a specific Oko, but I think it's just Z T Bolt. He subs again, so what? What? Did he predict? What did he predict? That U turn? I'm not sure about that sub again. <laughs> no ground type on either side, no Landris. Don't you just get a kill with the Z Thunderbolt here? Maybe he has a berry that gives him health back and he's not Z move. That would explain the sub again, but I don't think he, I think he's Z move. I mean he could also be Z move Tabulele. And this could be like the berry that I was talking about, but not. Sh I don't think that's the case. He misses the heat wave. Oh my! That's the Z move that I was talking about. Goodbye. GG. It has been fun because now the sub is not even broken. If the sub was at least broken, he could have gone to the Kelly to scare us out. Or potentially to the Bulu. Depending on how much speed he's running on the Bulu. But yeah, this game is over. 
Yeah, he's um, just gonna go for flash can to play it safe. He shows fire punch, which makes me think that he could be a lightning rod. Because on the rocket, you usually run flare blood so you don't take recoil. But it, uh, oh my lord, never mind, never mind. Did I say he's rocket ex? Yeah, this has to be. This has to be lightning rod. Look at what his team has no electric immunity. The like Coco just clicks T but this team drops. I know he has a Tabu Bulu, but like. This has to be lightning rod, holy shit. My bad guys were not realizing it earlier. So that was a good play in ABL going for flash scan. Because he knew it had to be lightning rod looking at his team. I don't know why I didn't realize that. Remember when this could have walled Magnus zone? Yeah, I'm actually not sure why he. Okay, it, oh, he gets a burner turret, sucks. Is, is Abia Rockstar or Rock's Mew? Like, this is only potential Mega, so I was thinking he's Mega Tower, but. Maybe he's a Mega or Bandit, I don't think he's a Rockstar, I think he's a Rock's Mew. And he doesn't have Allied Control, so he might be Spike Screen, yeah. I think you always go hard on the kill you here, right? I mean, Abia is still in a better position. But if he was Lightning Rod, I'm not. Yeah, I don't know why. Why he, like, sacked his Torn? That was so weird. So he's Mega Rocks. What the fuck? <laughs> Abia is wild. I did not see that coming. I mean, Command Clefable can actually win this game. Maybe it's pretty weak to Command Cliff, to be honest. Like if it's um, Rock's Command, Brofus used it last round, but Brofus is on ABS team, not on the opposing team. But it doesn't mean that the opposing team cannot use the same set. Um, he wants to knock off the lefties. Like, I'm thinking this is AV tank growth. I don't think he's sleep powder on. Um, like, I don't think he's the defensive one that runs sleep powder. Uh, the other Mew should be more defensive on this team. It will always softball. Uh, did I just say earlier ABR has no hazard control? ABR has a Mew. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, it's really late here. Holy shit, I'm getting mad now. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. ABR has a Mew, he does have hazard control. Um, Scissor comes in for free if it's not HP fire, but Scissor's so low. So even if the Scissor roots up, like Scissor doesn't do anything at this point, he's just gonna knock you, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Like there's no point in going Scissor because you take rocks. And then you are super low, and if you roost, you just get trapped by the Magnezone anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking he's obviously default Mew. I don't know why I said he has no health control earlier. What is his last move on Mew? He's not that weak to packs because he has the Lily and the zone. Oh, even though the Le zone can get trapped by Daggy. That's also why he has a substitute. Because if he can get up rocks, or most Daggies these days don't run uh, Sash, they run Z move. So you can, um, if you have a sub up, you can avoid getting trapped by Daggy. So that's cool. I mean, maybe he has knockoff, but if he doesn't have knockoff, this Mew doesn't do anything to the Clef. And if this Clef was n if this Clef was Comet, this would just win the game. Is he is he not Comet? He's not. He would have gone. Yeah, he would have gone for Comet by now. He's not. He's getting special attack drops, but Ice Beam. Maybe I just got a crit, and Ice Beam is not doing much anyway. So maybe he's just gonna spam Giga Drain, I guess? To get some chip on this clef. I mean, like... If he's proning Gren with Gunshot, that was like his only way of beating the clef, if the clef had Calm Mind. Because if the clef gets a Calm Mind, the only other thing that could do a lot of damage was like, um... Tabu Lily with like, Psy Shock. But even that shouldn't do that much, unless it's Specs. 
Um, I'm actually thinking that he's a Scarf Tabu Lily. Not sure about the Greninja set. Megatita is a decent... Like, Megatita can still get trapped by Dagger, but it's a decent check to Volcarona, so... Um, if you have a decent check to Volcarona, you don't have to run a, a Scarf that is faster than Volk, so you can afford to run Scarf Lily. That's, what I, that's at least what I um, see people do, and it makes sense. And also ABR. I know that he used Scarf Lily in his uh, OST uh, Finals set, or series. But yeah, holy shit, what it is. So he has no hazard control earlier. Yeah, 2 a.m. here. Um, he's probably willing to s just throw the scissor out the window. <laughs> I'm actually not sure about that play. I mean, ABR was, what ABR was doing was stalling up Moonblast from the Clefable. Um, switching between Mew, Mew has soft boiled to get his health back and leftovers, and Tangos has regenerated to get his health back. And it's off power. Ooh, that helps him with the Heatran matchup. That's cool. So that, that makes, yeah, because we already know he's a Z move um, Magnazone, not Z move Lele. So if, if he was Z focus plus Lele that can break through turn, then he probably didn't have off power. But, but that's pretty cool. Soft boiled, I think, off power. So he said doesn't have. He either doesn't have um, Will O Wisp or he doesn't have Defog. Yeah, Ice Beam is for probably Landris. And, uh, I mean, it's obviously for Landris, but I was thinking he probably has enough speed for Landris, maybe? So you can Ice Beam it first. That is the Z move. Bloom Bloom is gonna do a ton, but it's still, it doesn't do enough. Um, it would have killed if he SD'd up. If he SD'd up, you got a kill there, but. I don't know why he went hard for it without SD, but he was obviously fearing the Will O Wisp slash Ice Beam from a fast Mew. Slash Bomb, oof, maybe I'm packing the Tabu Bulu answer. Goodbye, yeah, the game is over. <laughs> I mean, yeah, a Command Clef is the only thing that could have brought him back into the game, is what I'm thinking at least. But yeah, two mistakes on my part. Um, should have realized earlier on that this Merrick has to be Lightning Rod on this team, just if you look on the team. And maybe I obviously has had that control, but I talked about this enough, so I don't have to mention it. It's fine. Um, I mean, this team is kind of cool because it's like not super standard. Sub Z Move Magnezone. I, th I think he has used. I don't know if it was ABR or his opponent who used Z Move Magnezone in SPL. I don't remember. I think it was in the game Kratos Manor with ABR where someone had Zim of Magnezone. But yeah, this Caldi was probably Scarf, I didn't talk about it yet. Maybe I'm just dominating, is he gonna save the 6 0? Um, this Tita doesn't do anything, so he can just sack it, but maybe he's gonna go for the 6 0. But yeah, Ease is actually, yeah, okay, he doesn't care about the 6 though. I also wouldn't care, it's fine. Yeah, now you just go... Is a Lele? Yeah, Lele clicks Moonblast, uh, clicks Psyshock here, or Psychic. Yeah. Because Giga General's Tangros doesn't do enough to the Clefable, so the game just gets longer for no reason. So this is the correct play. Psychic blows it away, because Clefable runs a Fist Death in this metagame at the moment. To check... Bad Zygarde, even though it's a Bulu too, they can run Iron Tail or Toxic to annoy that. And it's also for Heracross and Medicham and what else? That was another one that Clef runs Fist there for. Yeah, Scarf Kelly does a ton, but not enough. And maybe I picks up the win for Team US East. 